This painter named Andrew Wyeth really studies his trees. He looks close at all the shapes that their branches make and all the textures that they have. Look at the interesting bottom of this tree. He uses black and white and gray and brown. Look at this artist. They capture the color of the fall leaves and the feeling of the leaves fluttering in the breeze. He found groves of trees and painted them all in a row. We're gonna do a project that is inspired by those two artists. We're going to try and capture the color and texture of leaves and the shape and lines and textures of a tree trunk. So on a long paper to draw many trees, we start in the middle with like a brown hot dog sized trunk. Then you can do one to the right and one to the left. It's about the size of your finger, a little larger or a hot dog. And it's in the middle with space on the top and space on the bottom. Those are where my five trees are gonna go. Now I'm gonna add some of that cool root detail to the bottom. Remember, a tree doesn't just stop at the ground, it's planted into the ground and we can see the tops of its roots and we wanna make it really interesting down there. And then at the top, you can make some thinner branches. Two or three usually will do it. I'm branching a little bit smaller than the trunk on the tops of all five trees. Now I am adding smaller branches, branching off of those branches. And trees like to interact. They like to grow toward one another. So as you draw your branches and twigs getting smaller and smaller and smaller, branching further and further out, they might come and be next to each other. This is all done with a brown oil pastel. Now I want to give my tree texture some attention. So I'm adding a black shadow on the side of each tree. I'm using scratchy strokes with my oil pastel so that you can tell this tree has bark. I did it on the left side of each tree. Now I'm using a white oil pastel to show that my tree has some sunlight hitting it. It has highlights and I can see the bark poking out from the tree on the right hand side. So now that my five trees are finished, I can ball a foil, make nice little wrinkles on it, and use a palette to dab to, and tap into some paint to make a blend of colors. This blend still shows the red and the yellow and has some orange. So I haven't mixed a solid orange color, but instead the foil crinkles are touching red and yellow and orange to show that the leaves are changing color as we speak. Lots of tap, tap, taps on my paper to make the canopy of my trees and to show that a few leaves have already started to fall. Maybe one of your trees is empty on top and all of its leaves have fallen onto the ground below it. Take your time and don't rub your paper with the foil. Make sure you're only tapping and leaving lots of spaces between your leaves to show that they are waving in the wind and they are very little and fluttery. And don't forget to sign your work down in the corner.